Stanley, this is Selena. Me and Ron are running late. The bridge is destroyed. Looking for a detour. Keeping the radio tower as a reference point. Over. Selena, this is Stanley. Roger that. It's just a short run from there to my house. It's better if I get there first. I don't want my old man to accidentally shoot you. If only him and my sister are home. I hope it's safe there. Over. Have you checked the engineer's house? Over. I was just about to have a look. Over and out. Selena, Ron, this is Stanley. I'm by the farm. Over. Hey, 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 amigos. What's wrong with you? Why all the over and out stuff? There's no one but us here. Let's keep it casual, because it's getting tedious, hermano. We're at work. <laughs> Enough! You're distracting me. Over and out. Nothing useful. Looks like this house has already been looted. Check outside. Over. There's a dead body. Any different from the other 300 million? Yeah, this one's unusual. Looks like it's wearing some kind of uniform. Tyrone, where the hell are you? It's Big Graham, in case you haven't figured it out, chump. Where are you, you idiot? I'm waiting for your report. You get me, Tyrone? Over. Who was that cabron? Ron, I have no idea. Some big Graham. Apparently the chief of this dead guy. Well, you know me now. And who the hell are you? And what did you do to Tyrone? You're about to kick the bucket. Sorry, dude. What? I'm gonna find you, Gripes! Well, guys, I found a tablet with GPS. And the satellites are still in orbit. I said that's enough.
The windows are broken, and there's no electricity. Carol! Uh, they're not answering. I hope they're alive. I'll take a look around the house. The windows are broken, and there's no electricity. This is where my father taught me how to make knives. Well, there's no car. Maybe they drove it away. She's a star. She has the job she always dreamed of. Well, she used to. Stanley, this is Selena. We made it to your house. Over. Well, that's good news. Selena! Ron! How are you? I miss you, hermano. We shouldn't split up anymore. It's dangerous. Let's gear up before we go out. My dad had a few guns at home. Perhaps some of them are still here. Although, it would have been better if they took everything with them. Oh, yes, smart. Well done. My family's so prepared. I don't recognize these guns. Why are they in our house? Well, not what you're whining about. Let's use the supplies and shoot some cabrones. Uh, is shooting all you care about, Ron? What do you mean? I also love good music. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Da -da, da -da.
Hermano, just don't hurry. You know I hate running. If you want someone to run and gun, but that's Selena. I'd rather get a big and heavy club and slam it against someone's head. From what I hear, not so long ago, we had spaceships going to Mars, had robots, neural networks, and MAIs in every appliance, and little Ronnie just learned how to hold a club in his hands. Selena, lay off. Oh, come on, chica. Before this whole mess happened, Every corporation was trying to create its own MAI. Even the military made its own combat MAI and named it after some chicken. So where are all these corps of yours now? While well, Hermano Ron is right here and just give it a heavy clap. Right, team. Don't get too comfortable. Remember why we're here. We gathered the resources for repairs, and now we're going home. Yeah, we need to be more careful, bro. We passed close by here, and I saw some exposed acid speeders. Such bastardos! Ugh. How did you end up organizing security for the refugee camp at that... What did you call it? Yeah, at the evac center. How did it happen that you were the chief of security? And now you're just another refugee like me or Selena. Oh, hermano... It's a long story. Well, I've got time. Go on and tell. Well, I got all floxed. Anyone? I repeat, if you can hear. Help! I'm being attacked by the ex-people. So shoot them! Why are you whining? Someone stole all my weapons. Quiet, Ron. Don't interrupt. Where are you? I'm at my house, southwest of the radio tower. There's only one around here. 
Do you require medical assistance? No, thankfully not yet. How many of the suspected felons do you have nearby? Felons? I, well... There's X people here. There's two or five. I don't know. I locked myself in. Stay put. We'll be there soon. Stanley, looks like you got a stranger in your house. Are you okay? Um, yeah. I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks for the rescue. What's your name? I'm Victor. And I'm Selena. What are you doing here? This is my house. No, this house is mine. That's not true. I've been living here for two months. Fine. I'll talk to you later. Don't go anywhere. All right. All right. We'll take care of the generator for now. Yes, it's out of order. That's our generator. What happened to it? Yeah, here's the generator. It got a little messed up. But I've already figured out how to fix it. Not just fix it, but even improve it. Yeah, I got it. Don't touch anything and stay where you are. You people know that delivery services are still running. Automated ones. I hacked into the network and got me some crypto. I can make orders, and postal skites bring me all sorts of goodies. No way! You're a hacker or something? Oh, come on, no. I just know a few tricks. By the way, did you know you can speed up construction? Just send some crypto to hold your house so their skites work faster. Corporation collapsed, but the automation is doing its job. Damn, you're a genius. Where did you learn all this? Did you take a VR deep dive course? Nah, I was bored just sitting around. Long time in jail. Oops. Hmm, Stanley. Are you purposely only recruiting criminals for your team? Former criminal. Hey, Mr. Squatter. Are you aware that this house belongs to my family? The Murphy family? Stephen Murphy, in a wheelchair, big man. Carol Murphy, a pretty brunette, young, a little shorter than me. Have you seen them? Have you seen them? Answer me! No, sir. Sorry. I haven't seen them. I took over the house in July. It was empty. I cleaned it. I fixed the generator, gathered weapons. I guarded it the best I could. I just left to look for some food and parts to fix the generator that burned out. Cut the chit-chat. What do I do with you? Mm. Let's start by getting you to pay our rent. Hmm. All right. That's fair. Here, please. Take everything I have. That's not much. All right, team. Let's put the loot in the storage. By the way, 
about the storage. I was just about to expand it. There are four of us now, and we'll need more shelves. Who's us? You're nobody. Some random dude showed up here like a busted postal skide. Fine, I'm nobody. But I've already worked out how to increase storage capacity. Want me to show you? You don't have the right to make decisions here. Understand? I'm not making decisions. Look, here's the blueprint. It's best to make a couple in advance, not when you're bleeding out. Bandages are generally useful anyway. I remember when I was a kid, we didn't have money for colored paper. So me and my siblings made a piñata out of bandages and decorated it with plastic bags. It turned out so hard, we beat it for 20 minutes and couldn't tear it apart. My drunken dad was so angry that he chased us away and cut open the piñata with a knife. But even then, he couldn't do it right away. He fumbled and cursed. <laughs> it was hilarious. <sighs> Spare me. And this is where we ate dinner as a family, while mom was alive. What the hell are you doing, Victor? Stanley, calm down. I'm just offering advice. Ah, uh, I remember. I always knew I wanted to work in a restaurant. But the dream quickly vanished when I realized breakfast had to be prepared at 5 a.m. Guys, I haven't eaten in a day. Me neither. Same. <laughs> Chill. I will cook you the best meal of your lives. Just bring me the ingredients. We gotta jack someone for food. Better start growing our own food. I was thinking, what a nice backyard here to start growing some flowers. But we can grow some potatoes too. Not really. I've been a forest lookout, a ranger, for the last five years. Well, those online games where you're given an MAI-assisted experience, they're trash. Real dudes like us only game on mobile, you know what I'm saying? Despite the catastrophe, humanity would still go rogue with all this passion for VR games. It would just happen a couple of years later. VR helmets help the military and police control combat robots. 
the MAI Griffin, which is trained to do the same thing, it's a bad invention. To fire or not to fire, that's a decision that the live operator should make, not MAI. I don't care who puts holes in me. A robot dog controlled by MAI? Or one controlled by a cold-blooded cabron? Friends, I've got to warn you. Usually the ex-people are no more dangerous than humans. But recently, I saw mutants spewing acid. You guys be careful out there. Those clearly didn't become like that because of VR games. Right, Ron? I saw that ex-girl again recently. She's not like the others. A dangerous creature. Ain't any better than other cabrones. None of your cabrones will stop me from finding my family. She tore apart one of my subs, Jackie. That was back when I was still in charge at the evac center. I know you're damn Jackie. He probably tried to hurt her and got what he deserved. And you're no better, fallen leader of thugs. If you see that girl again, don't you dare shoot her. Understand? Do you think that's your sister? Shut up. Bro. I said shut up, all of you. Everything has changed so much. To me, it's pretty much the same. 
just throw your gun over your shoulder and stroll around the neighborhood. down. Okay, we have a disposable battery. Charged. Big Grim, this is Oscar. We got everything squared away. Finally! Bring your asses here. Let's discuss further plan. Marauders. Damn them. Did you get to know them well? After the army left our region, they went wild. Started raiding, looting houses. There were many of them, and they got so bold that they tried to attack our site. We fortified it well, and gave those bastards a good beating. And then, something strange happened a week later. Strange? Yeah, they rammed through our fence with the truck and a swarm of exposed followed. I've never seen so many of them in one place before. It's like they were with the Marauders. There were so many exposed, we couldn't handle them. Powell ordered us to retreat. Since then, I haven't seen him or any of the other guys. You're the first living people I've met. We must find Powell. Find out where he and the remaining officers are. First, I'll be looking for my family. He'll help you find them, Stanley. Powell is a police captain. He knows everything about what was going on here, before and after the catastrophe. All the intel came to him when we were defending this region from the Marauders and the Exposed. He's our main hope, Stanley. Mm-hmm. but they're loaded with guns. We need to arm ourselves, too. We can build our own armory.
Victor, listen up. Yes? I've thought about it and decided. You're a useful guy. You can stay. You'll watch over the house and defend it while we're out. No drinking, no leaving the territory without warning, no bringing guests. And no solo moves. Got it? Yes. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Stanley. I knew right away you had a good heart. All right, let's skip the sweet talk. You won't regret it. I'll make it up to you. Uh, guys? There's X's right under our gates. And among them is that acid sprayer. What? There, among the exposed. Some guy is lying there. Looks like the Marauders got another survivor. We need to check him out. Ah, uh, poor guy had some blueprints on him. Victor! There's a job for you here. We need to decipher these blueprints. Bring them over. We'll get to work.
What did you find? I haven't figured it out. Some kind of blueprints. I found something as well. You might want to see it. Well, I tried to climb on the roof to see that strange girl you were talking about. I couldn't find a way to get up there. I did find a voice recorder while wandering around the house. I think someone from your family left it there. My family? Let me see it. I didn't touch it, Stanley. I thought you would want to see it first. Hell yeah. I'll play it right now. There it is. What's on it? Right. What's on the list here? Uh, canned food, drinking water, snacks, sleeping bags, goggles, thick soled boots, shotgun, seven boxes of shells, revolver for Carol, and, uh, and here are the rounds for it. Axe, a new knife, um, nails, hammer, bandages, uh, hydrogen peroxide, painkillers, a uh, battery, two flashlights, a headlamp and a police flashlight, and a radio, so we don't miss the signals from those tax wasters. Carol, I'm ready. Not too informative, hermano. You're right, but at least now I know they weren't in a rush to leave. Just gotta figure out where they went. The trash has been collected, but left in the kitchen. It's so much like our dad. Dad, where could you have left clues about where you went? Okay, the spare barbecue grill that my sister usually washes is dirty. But carefully placed in the corner, I doubt the robbers would have put it there that way. Calm down. We will find them. Imagine, these are the blueprints for a small industrial 3D printer. I figured it out. We can build it ourselves. And then we can print anything we want. We could even print a rocket in parts. It's been done for over a decade. Oh, we'll finally have a use for all that liquid silicone and plastic you've been collecting. Ah, I remember when we were kids. Dad used to print these bright toys for us. And where did we put them later? Oh, right. What? I remembered. What did you remember? The Murphy Nest. That's our spot in the woods behind the house. It was our secret place. We used to hide there with my sister when we were kids. And after we got older, we decided we would leave messages for each other there. We should check it out.
Are you okay? Mm -mm. Are you okay? Can you talk? <sighs> She's exposed. Shoot her. <sighs> Ron, get lost. Calm down, calm down. No one's going to hurt you. <sighs> can you talk? Yes, I can. Oh, I told you. Great. What's your name? Don't. No. No what? No name. Okay. You have beautiful hair. Has anyone ever told you that? Mm. I'll call you Ashley for your ashen hair before you remember your own name. Is that all right? Who are you? And where are you from? No, no, there, there, back, backpack. Whose backpack? Yours? <clears throat> Carol. Carol? Do you know something about Carol? Stanley, quiet. Don't shout. You'll scare the girl. Ashley. Ashley, is Carol's backpack there? Do we need to see it? Mm, yes. Yes. That's okay. I'm sure we'll meet her again. Yes, that's Carol's bag. Stanley, I couldn't reach you. Why are you sitting in your damn forest? On your damn tower? Out of network range? When we're getting fluxed like crazy? Damn, bro, this might be my last recording. I need to pull myself together. All right, sorry, I'll start over. Today is March 31st, 2035. Stanley, something really messed up is happening here. Our neighbors have gone rabid. The cops have sealed off the roads. Military people arrived and they're demanding that we evacuate. <laughs> In case our house gets looted by marauders, I decided to leave this recording here. In a place known only to you. Oh wait. I hear gunfire nearby. I'm going home to check on Dad. There must be more of the recording. <laughs> Awful. 
Our neighbor, Mr. Hayes, he... he attacked Dad. We... we had to shoot him. It's complete madness. The police aren't answering calls. The mail is offline too, even though I see skites flying around. We're packed. Dad can't walk, so we're driving east to Winston-Salem along the 102. Stanley, use your radio to contact us. Cell service seems to be down. Love you. Stay safe, brother. We'll definitely find each other. Ah. <laughs> what do you think now, hermano? <laughs> well, at least they left for a safe place. Are you sure, Ron? Really sure? Seriously? Have you seen these roads? Broken cars are everywhere. Bodies all over the place. Our minivan is wrecked. They left in the second car, yes. But how far could they go? They could have been hit by some bitten trucker at the very first road crossing. Or shot by bandits. Uh... Hmm. Sorry, Ron. I think I'll keep searching. You recently said that you know how to find and make corporate aggregators work on the network, right? I did. Need some new stuff? Not right now. Listen, we've digitized everything a long time ago, right? Cameras everywhere. They put tracking devices on people under the guise of crypto wallets. If I give you my dad's license plate and route from here to Winston-Salem via 102 Interstate, can you check police databases to see where the car was spotted? <clears throat> Breaking into police databases isn't easy. Cops are lacking behind military tech. This ain't Ethernet. But I'll try, Stanley. I see it's important to you. Thank you, Vic. Here's another thing. Why don't we build a 3D printer? I mean, I don't have the right to make decisions in this house, but... But think about it. Times are tough these days. You can't get decent equipment. They don't deliver stuff from Asia anymore, so we could print some parts ourselves. I don't mind. The search for my family is stuck. We'll need to bunker down better here. And Dad, he was never really against these kinds of toys. How's it going, Victor? Full gigawatt. The machine is working. We'll soon print everything we want. I'm happy about your enthusiasm and that you have a new toy, but I'm still more concerned about my family. Did you find out where they are? Oh yes, right. I managed to hack into one of the police databases and I have good news and bad news. Right, leave all that garbage out, spit it out. Okay. The car with those plates didn't leave Galrox. Cameras caught it moving on local roads, but not on Interstate 102. I figured out where their car might be. I've marked the area on your map. We need to check that car out. If they haven't left, something might have happened to them. 